Let's go take a morning walk and check on the garden. why I am interested in gardening and having animals and living this somewhat simplified farmy life is um, it's for my own well-being, my spiritual and mental well-being. I always enjoyed doing this stuff when I was a kid. We lived out in the woods and I would go outside and um, you know, play in the woods and make mud pies and go down to the lake and like pretend I was in a whole different other world. And I think living the way we are right now, it brings me a lot of joy because um, it kind of brings me back to those childhood days of being imaginative and getting lost in my creative little world. Um, it, living this way has really inspired me in the work that I do too as a creative person, like as a musician, and I feel that it's given me more energy to have big ideas to try within my work and just in my life too. So I can't say enough like how much I value this lifestyle for just the the well-being and the inspiration that it provides so I'm just so lucky Matt and I are so lucky that we're able to live here and do this I don't know if it will last forever or like what our next steps are but just to be here right now is incredibly special I'm very very thankful for it like sourcing more of our more of our own meats um, like rabbits one day and our pigs obviously um, I'm interested in that from health reasons because I've always struggled with um, like digestion and various health things so eating food that I know is organic and it's been grown in an ethical way. Um, food that I know hasn't been processed with added sugars and preservatives and salts and all that. That's hugely beneficial to me and my health. And I want to increase the amount of foods, um, healthy foods that I can eat and um, learn how to cook with it and cook recipes that are really delicious but also tailored to my body's needs so in that vein I'd like to know if you guys would be interested in ever seeing what I cook with the foods I harvest or just what I cook for my diet which is you know very restricted um, I don't eat breads or sugars or preservatives there's a lot of stuff uh, that I've cut out. So if you'd be interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments.
check this out from a distance. Isn't that just beautiful? The corn is getting tall. The squashes and pumpkin type varieties are putting on flowers. I just love looking back here from our deck and seeing this fertility. I was just down here a minute ago when I saw a bee hop from this flower to that flower next to it. Doing the jobs that uh, bees need to do. I just think that's so cool. So, oh, I also believe I saw a fruit starting. Yep, there it is. Can you see that little bulge? That should be, I think, a moonbeam squash. So then we've got a couple smaller, smaller ones uh, coming up. So these all weren't planted at the same time, but the corn looks great, don't you think? from this but here is my fig cutting which is putting on leaves every so often so it is alive and I'm very uh, hopeful that, that this one will survive and produce figs eventually and over here this is right by the roads so it's very loud sorry about that but um, in the middle of this round bed I went ahead and put in corn so that in the fall or late late summer at least this is gonna you know be tall and majestic by the road well that's all I've got for you guys today so I hope you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe to Hanny's Harvest so that you will get updates when new garden videos come out new farm videos and 
like this video I appreciate that until next time blessings from Matt and I and I hope you have a lovely summer bye